It's a new way to destroy toxic forever chemicals. PFAS are called forever chemicals because they don't break down in the environment. They're used in a variety of products like nonstick cookware, waterproof clothing, and firefighting foam. But the EPA says they can cause health problems like birth defects and cancer. Well, now the EPA is working to create regulations for PFAS and drinking water to protect everybody's health. Water systems all over Colorado and the entire country are grappling with how to remove these chemicals from our drinking water supplies. Now, researchers at the Colorado School of Mines have invented a way to eliminate them for good. Our investigator, Katie Weiss, is in Golden with this new potential solution. When drinking water contaminated with PFAS forever chemicals is filtered out, it leaves behind a concentrated waste full of those forever chemicals. This new invention created by the School of Mines now solves the problem of what to do with that concentrated waste. It completely destroys it. And ultimately that would kind of close the cycle and actually remove PFAS from the environment uh, and not just transfer it somewhere where it would have a chance to escape again in the future. Dr. Tim Strathman is an engineering professor at Mines and a co-inventor of the newly patented process called HALT, a technology that's five years in the making. It's short for uh, hydrothermal alkaline treatment. Uh, so base is another term for base is alkaline. So and hydrothermal refers to the fact that it's these high temperature water. So hydrothermal alkaline and so, uh, you know, halt PFAS, stop the PFAS. Before, concentrated PFAS waste would get shipped to a landfill or sent to a facility to be burned. But those options could release toxic chemicals back into the environment. Instead, HALT uses an extremely hot boiling sand with a chemical reactant to eliminate PFAS without emissions. That We heat the water to these high temperatures, uh, usually 350 degrees Celsius. Um, uh, and then the second thing is that we add a simple chemical called a base, uh, like sodium hydroxide that historically was used to make soap and is used in a variety of uh, consumer products. And so what, the way I explain it to people is that it's really a, a pressure cooker on steroids. What would you say would be some limitations to your process? Uh, it's a more of an emerging technology, so there's less of a track record. So anytime you have emerging technologies like we're developing and others are developing, there's uh, higher risks to uh, utilities to adopt. Despite that, Mind says the technology is considered by many in the field to be one of the most promising options for the destruction of PFAS ever invented. The process invented here at the School of Mines shows it's effective on a smaller scale. Now the school is working with commercial partners to prove its effectiveness and efficiency on a much larger industrial scale. Reporting in Golden, I'm Katie Weiss covering Colorado First. Katie has been covering concerns about PFAS for over two years now. To see all of her investigative reporting, including levels of the forever chemicals in Colorado's drinking water systems, just head to our website, cbscolorado.com.